Hello, this is Clator Manufacturing. How you doing? Today we're going to discuss how to uh, make a bunch of tool paths that are that are all all doing the same thing, and we're going to get them to to make one tool path out of them. We're going to do it by using what? We're going to do it by using incremental movements. Okay, so let's freaking dive right in. This is going to be a great this is going to be a great one for you. And uh, don't forget, man, you know, subscribe, of course. But most of all, go to my Patreon link down there and help me out to support me, okay? Support me in my role. I'm trying to play for you guys, and I'm trying to give you all the info that I have for manufacturing engineer through Mastercam. So with that being said, let's get right into it. The link's below, Patreon account in my description. So, so let's see. You open up a file, okay, and then you're going to see all this. You see all this malarkey, okay? It's a it's a chamfer and it's a chamfer, and it's all doing different steps like that, you know? Because the guy the guy doesn't he doesn't understand, you know. Possibly, you know, when you see this, just disregard this. Okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to tool paths, go to contour, hit C plane there, and make sure you know just grab all four of them. Green check. And this is, I got a spot drill in there in my fancy library that you can get on my Patreon channel. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a 2D chamfer, okay? Don't worry about that where, okay? That's just what my setting is. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into incremental. We're going to keep everything else, okay, absolute. Top of stock, we're going to have incremental as well. Feed plane, we're going to have incremental as well. We're just going to retract these last two in, in absolute. So now what you have happening is this. See what I did there, guys? One tool path to rule them all. See that? One tool path. You know? And if you don't like that big giant retract in there. Okay, oh yeah, only use on the first and last. This this retract you can put to zero as well. But as you can see, your path is gonna act pretty good doing this, doing it this way. All right. There you have it. So that is what I mean by one path to rule them all. I hope this showed you this is how you use incremental tool paths. So if you have, you can mill this the same way. Okay. You just grab all these surfaces here with one mill tool path and you'd straighten them all out. Okay. So anyways, that's a tip of the day. I appreciate you guys stopping by for, uh, for a little bit of, uh, Clotor Manufacturing. I appreciate all your master camiacs out there. And uh, like I said before, if you need any help troubleshooting, let me know in the link below. I'll give you an email invite. Anything outside my site is uh, money, money, okay, everybody? But I'm here to help, man, all right? Don't forget about my Patreon, okay? I want you to join to support me in the role I'm trying to play for you guys. I appreciate your time. Take it.